Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. In today's video, I'm gonna go over how often you should bathe your dog, so stay tuned. So being a groomer, I get asked quite often um, in between grooms if people should be bathing their dog. So I thought I would do a quick video just to go over the specifics on why and when you should be um, bathing your dog. So I've broken it down into three categories. One being the first one, the breed of your dog. So if your dog needs regular haircuts and is going to the groomer on a regular schedule, meaning um, probably every six to eight weeks, your dog is obviously getting bathed then. And I would suggest probably doing it in between your grooms because a clean dog is a dog that's easier to brush and um, it's easier for the next groom on the groomer and the dog. So breed specific dogs that need their haircuts would be like um, like a Shih Tzu or a Wheaton Terrier or um, a Poodle. They all have hair that needs to be trimmed. And double coated dogs, meaning a Golden Retriever, a Samoid, um, any dog that sheds doesn't necessarily need to be bathed as often but it's necessary that they are bathed because I see a lot of them that, that get a bath once a year and their coat is so jam packed with undercoat that you can't get a brush through it and the skin's not breathing. So you really need to get the coat really clean and all the undercoat brushed out because that gives the, the skin a chance to breathe and is much healthier. And then it just creates the, the natural oils that the coat needs to have to be a healthy coat. So for a double coated dog, two and a half to three months is every three months at the most is probably when, when I would do that. Like I have retrievers that come in and they get a really good bath and blow a blowout. Like the high velocity dryers really blow out the coat nicely and, um, and then it's much easier to brush. And that's probably, I would do that probably every three months or so. Then the second, category would be lifestyle of you and your dog so obviously if you've got a really active dog they go to the dog park they're playing with other dogs they're wrestling around in the dirt they could be rolling in dead animals or rolling in poop who, who knows obviously that dog whether it's double coated or not is going to need regular bathing a dog that sits in an apartment or has only walked on a leash a couple times a day wouldn't need as regular bathing but I mean if your dog smells I would bathe it because a smelly dog is not a good dog to be in your bed or on your furniture and you can't really over bathe your dog if you're using the proper products so the third one would be your the dog's coat and health of the coat so um, if a dog has skin conditions there's a lot of dogs I groom that come with their actual own veterinarian recommended shampoos for skin conditions and a lot of the times the vets will say you need to to uh, bathe your dog twice a week with this special shampoo and it has to sit on the dog's coat and skin for over 10 to 15 minutes to let it soak right into the skin so those are more obviously um, there are more intense conditions whereas if a dog just has dry skin or sensitive skin there's so many different shampoos out there that are good for um, like oatmeal shampoos or no soap shampoos are awesome for dogs that have sensitive skin. So if you're using the proper product on the dog, you can't dry out the coat. And if anything, it, it's going to help the coat. And you can also, if you have a dry skin um, on your dog, conditioning it would help with that as well. And as far as like if your dog's at the dog park and they're playing with other dogs, a lot of people take their dogs up to the cottage and they'll come to, to me and, and they'll say, oh, the dog's been swimming in the lake and it's got really bad hot spots. So that's another reason to give your dog a really good bath as well. If your dog's swimming in lakes and stuff like that, there's a lot of bacteria and that can cause hot spots. So keeping the coat clean and um, free of any dirt, debris and... Um, any kind of bacteria will help with that as well. Another important factor too, when your dog's prone to hot spots, is when you're bathing the, your dog at home, you have to make sure that the dog, before it starts rolling in the grass and stuff like that, that it's dried completely because a wet coat 
it accumulates moisture from right within the skin and if there's bacteria already in there that can create a, a hot spot not all dogs get them but there are i find them mainly on retrievers to be honest but any breed can get them so you have to really be careful that the dog it and in the summertime obviously it's easier your dog can air dry outside and you can give it a really good towel dry and you can if you have a um a a uh, hair dryer and you put it on cool that will help dry them as well okay so to wrap it up once again there's three factors breed specific factors on how often you should bathe your dog lifestyle with you and your dog and the coat and health of the dog's coat so those are the three main reasons for the frequency of bathing so i hope this video helped and if you have any other questions i'm more than happy to help and we'll see you next time